Yes, the answer is yes. I have in fact been procrastinating, okay, on watching the ranked tirade videos from the 19th. And let me tell you why. It's embarrassing for one. And two, it's humbling. I don't want to be humbled. I want to be a silver player, but here I am stuck in bronze. So, <laughs> uh, I played some Lux in the mid lane. I played some Zyra in the mid lane. I don't remember how the game went. We're watching it together. Hopefully I didn't make as many dumb mistakes and hopefully my next ranked games will be good. My fingers are crossed and my hopes are high and without further ado, let's get into it. Oh my God, it's already one of those games. I decided that I wanted to watch my show in the background while the game was going. I guess like in the moment I didn't really understand what was going on, but like watching the footage over again, like I definitely ignited her first, but I don't do as much damage as she does. So I'm not really sure where I thought that was gonna go, especially with her still having pots. Um, oops. This Maokai was literally a godsend to me this entire game. He was absolutely, so helpful, so impactful, and definitely understood like where the rotations needed to be for him and for our team. And it was it's just beautiful. Mwah. Loved it. Thank you. Yes! Yes! The E prediction was mwah, because I knew that she was going to use one of her stupid little dashes, her dumb little W, whatever the fuck, to try and get away from me and my R because my R has a cast time that is enough time for someone to try and get out of it. So, I mean, if you're gonna dash to one of the Raptors, baby, you're gonna dash into this E. <laughs> Thank you. So as you can see, I'm typing because I don't know if you remember, but I had popped a honey fruit before this fight happened because I was really low. And I'm super squishy, and I don't get to, you know, do that much damage. And I just, I felt like, why didn't you let me take the honey fruit, Darius? <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, this Maokai, 10 out of 10. He, his rotation's just on top of it. His gank's on top of it. His objective focus, on top of it. Bro was just on top of it, bro. It was just 10 out of 10. Um, at this point in the game, though, Kate was really fed. I was really fed. Maokai's really fed. Like, it's, it's, it's looking like a straight shot. Pantheon with press the attack? No. No, baby, that shit scared the fuck out of me. I thought I was gonna die. I was gonna give up my bounty. I thought I was gonna throw the game, but luckily, luckily, <laughs> that wasn't the case. I loved this team. Like, we all played so well together. We all understood what the objectives were. We, we our p pings and stuff and communication probably could have been better. Like, if I had to find something to improve on, but like, we we all logged on to fucking play, and it was, Mwah! oh, like these are the I love these kind of games. Like, these are the games I want to be playing in all the time. Yeah. 
that whole jungle fight thing was an unfortunate circumstance. And I can't help but wonder if there was a way to avoid it. You know, like, what could I have done type situation? But, I don't know. It looked like we were going to be pinched but regardless, right? Because Pantheon are Maybe if we walk towards top lane instead of trying to stay, you know, in the bushes at that red buff, perhaps. But I, I don't know. I'm definitely giving it to Maokai. He ganked my lane hella nice. Like, he's been great. He's been a great jungler. Cut. Excuse me. Game one is over. Um, yeah, I loved this team. I loved everything about it. It was just super dope. It was inspiring, honestly. It made me feel like, yeah, I can get out of bronze. This is going to be great. It's going to be a good day. And then I queued up, and then this was my next game. <laughs> Scoreboard's coming up pretty soon. Look at Maokai's KDA. That's not just any fucking Maokai. That's that's a Maokai main or some shit. That's like maybe hard smirk. Like that's that's someone that I want to be continuously playing with. Like fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, so second game on, I'm playing Zyra into Aurelian Soul. Not really sure where the Zyra pick came from, but it did come. So uh, I I don't remember this game, but I have this like very f bad feeling of unrest in my stomach. I like what I'm seeing so far though. Survived a game, got first blood. I honestly maybe could have got a double kill if um, I just autoed Aurelian Soul and used my Q on Diana um, when I flashed in. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good. Just survived a three-man gank from Kaisa and Morgana. And I was able to kill Asol. So, I mean, this this game's looking great. Why do I have this feeling in my stomach? Yeah, so I didn't really like what I saw there. Uh, my R was wasted. It was not properly done. Maokai should have never dove um, if he saw that my R was not going to uh actually proc any plants um i don't think that could have been avoided though because it looked like he jumped onto her prior to me even starting my r um he going under to secure the kill makes sense um but without vision on you know their jungler and the mid laner it just feels a little a little risky um, I liked that I was able to flash away. I don't like that I stayed for plates, it looked like. Okay, starting not to like my decision making. Um, not sure what I would, why I would want to stay in a lane with Diana, knowing that I don't know where Aurelian Soul is. I was dumb. Okay, okay, I'm okay with this and ignite for a bounty. I like it. That was a bad R. I should have made sure that he was engulfed in it so he couldn't get away. Um, Cause it looked like I was, I have would have been able to do enough damage to trade. I don't know, Yi going in there, like, 
I, I want to say that he thought that we were both going to do enough damage, but I already missed two abilities, bro. Like, I, I wouldn't have, I don't know. So we're about 18 minutes in. Our team death count is at a total of 14. 10 of those deaths are split evenly between our top laner and our jungler. Um, six of our team's kills are also from our jungler. So we are not at a gold advantage right now. Master Yi is a champ. And when fed enough, he can be completely unstoppable. Um, I don't know if this E in particular, uh, you know, got to that point. I feel like at points of the game, when your game is like this, when you have a very small number of people who are actually doing well and playing well, you really want to start gravitating towards them and kind of protecting them in a way like once the wave is pushed past river if there are no tier one towers anymore the wave being pushed past river is enough map control like especially when we have a yi like ours who does have a bounty and we can't afford to lose that because that's that's what's gonna keep this game kind of rolling in our favor. But um, our ADC wanted to split push and not group with us. Um, I don't think I was dealing enough damage and or you know landing enough abilities to be as impactful as I wanted to be. And he kept on putting himself in positions that were very compromising and we just weren't accounting for it this the, my heart started to break and don't get me started on shaco because what are you talking about bro this guy literally did absolutely fucking nothing all game participated in absolutely nothing did absolutely no damage and had the nerve to sit and chat and just talk shit. Like, go play a norm or something. Okay, it looks like I'm done commentating because it looks like from this point on in the game, all we do is take bad team fights, we don't secure any more objectives, and we just keep getting picked off. Um, it's just death after death after death, it looks like. Um, I might be able to like assist in a couple of things and probably lay down a little bit of damage but at the end of the day it doesn't look like I'm doing much and it doesn't look like my team is also is doing much either so yeah it yeah that's this game um if you made it all the way here I want you to know that you are a fucking phenomenal human being and that you are appreciated and loved for who you are as you are and I thank you for being you and watching this video. I also thank you if you don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and push the notification bell so you don't miss me and all of my glory. <sighs> thank God, this is the last of the ranked nine oh, the ranked nineteenth tirade. Like, thank fucking God. <laughs> if you want to stick around and check out the scoreboard. It's going to be at the end of the video. <sighs> I'm going to go play some ranked and hopefully I get to bronze. One, bitch. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to get to bronze too. Okay, look, I have two accounts. One account, I'm already bronze one. <laughs> and this account that I've been playing on is my main account. And I'm trying to get to bronze two on it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so... I'm, gonna go play I'm some never games. getting out of bronze, bro. <laughs> I'm literally never getting out of bronze. Bye.